I spend a lot of time looking for remotes in my house. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm using Home Assistant and Roku to find it no matter where it's hidden. Alexa, turn on the living room remote finder. So let me show you exactly how this works. Let's jump over to my project. So I have, uh, if you haven't checked out my repo, there's a, uh, I have all these files on there and this one is set up as a package. So under the package folder, you can scroll down and go to the Roku and I have everything built in here. So the first thing we have here is the input Boolean. This info boolean is a simple on off boolean. We expose it via our Nabucasa to our echo devices. So this allows me to say basically Amazon turn on living room remote finder. And that kicks off the script. If we look down here, we have our script find Roku remote. Uh, we're using individual IDs. This is a, a simple idea. I have another, another video I'll link here which talks about that. Uh, we're doing mode queue, so this way if there's multiple triggers, it'll just queue up and, and just keep doing them one at a time. The two triggers that we have are the boolean, which we defined up there, and then we have an event, which we define later down. So the first action is a very simple remote send command, and there's a command for Roku called find remote. So what this does is this triggers the the find remote action within Roku. And what that does is it basically sends a signal to the remote and the remote starts beeping. If you have a supported Roku, the remote itself will play a little chime, a little tune, um, and, and that, will, that will basically start your Easter egg hunt so that you can find your remote. We then, uh, we then run a quick notify. So what this notify does is this will send a message to the phone so we're sending it to everyone in the family because we're looking for the remote. So everyone in the family gets this message. And then the last thing we do is we turn off the living room. Uh, we turn off the input Boolean. So this sort of sets the script to kick off again. Once we found the remote. So what this script does is this, this, pre this presents two options to us. So if we look up here, and we look at our, our remote, we're gonna get two options. One of them that we found the remote and the other one is not yet. So based on which one we press, we're gonna have the following actions. So if this remote is not found, what we do is we turn off the input Boolean and then we send a little notification to the family that says uh, living remote has been found. We use these, uh, this is the Apple push network system ID so that it overrides the old one. So basically we won't see multiple messages saying, hey, we're looking for the remote and then the remote has been found. We'll just see the latest one which says the remote has been found. If we don't find the remote, what we do is we just basically kick off. That's this other event. So if we press the other button, we'll get this event that says uh, living room remote not found. And then we'll basically just cycle through the process again. And that's basically how it works. Uh, we have this one script file, super easy to use. You'll have to change some of the media player. Basically, you just have to change this one media player to point to your Roku and change some of the, uh, the notifications. But that's basically how it works. You ask your Amazon device to find the remote. It kicks off the script, which kicks off a little message, you know, a little tune on the Roku, Roku remote itself. And then we go through this loop until we find the remote. So hopefully you think this is helpful. Hopefully this is a cool little package that you can use in your own house. Check it out on the repo. There's links in the description and have a good day. Bye.